Hey, this is John Hardison from Studio 113 in Epic Academy at East Hall High School in Gainesville, Georgia. Let's take a look at video tutorial number two for Infuse Learning. Let's look at the interactive tools section. I'm going to skip over Infuse Draw and go to Infuse Link. Very simple. Let's say I want to push an address of a website or URL to my students. Here's what I could do. I simply go grab a link. This happens to be from AmericanRhetoric.com. I click Control C. I go back to my dashboard. As simple as this. Control V, paste it in, and click Send. Nothing happens here on my dashboard side, but as I go to my hover cam, I can see where it says Click Me. The student is already logged in. And I click Click Me. And so the student goes in and sees the website that was pushed to him or her. This happens to be from FDR, the Pearl Harbor speech. At this point, the students and I could go through, read this together, do whatever we need to do to move our assignment forward. Going to back out of that, then you can see that it says waiting for activity in room, and that's because the teacher needs to push something else out. So that was Infuse Link. Let's look at a very powerful tool here called Infuse Draw. When I go to Infuse Draw, you of course are aware of these icons here, these tools. I'm going to click on the color and uh, maybe check the width. And let's pretend I'm a geometry teacher. I hope this works. I am not a good artist, as I have said many times. And I'm going to change the color. I want to know about this particular area right here. So I can go down here now to ask, and I have a variety of options. I'm going to ask them to draw. So when I click draw, it goes back to my dashboard. And I'm going to back out. As you can see, just an example is logged in, the student. I'm going to go to that student on the iPad mini via my hover cam and let's just pretend that I circle this area it is the right angle and I'm going to quickly draw on it and give my answer that way of course that was just one of the four options I was given and then as a student I click submit you'll see that it says submitting image thereafter it says waiting for activity in room because the teacher needs to give another activity so let me back out of the hover cam in the student account. Just an example is grayed out again because he is finished with that assignment. Let's go to the image. And there it is. Now again this is not the best example because of my lack of artistry skills but if you will imagine just five or ten or fifteen students having their images posted and you quickly assessing what they know. Very very powerful stuff. Now I am going to go back and show you one other thing with Infuse Draw. So I'll go back here and I'm going to delete that image and let's pretend I want to upload an image and you'll have to give me just a second here to find this image and here it is. So let me upload this image and give it just a second. This is a powerful tool here. I can upload this image and of course as a language arts teacher I'm thinking of so many ways I will use this with my students. So this image has been loaded. I can ask a question and I want to maybe, hmm, let's say I want to have them draw again. You can see these other three here. You can do the true or false, A, B, C, D, multiple choice, text, numeric, but maybe I want them to draw some specific details. So I click here processing. It's sending the picture to the student. It may take just a little bit longer since it is sending a picture. And then now I want to go to my hover cam, back to my student account, and there it is. And so depending on the prompt, depending on the question, the student has so much power here. The student can then go through and circle or maybe write some words in. The student can do just about anything that he or she needs to do. Again, as I'm thinking as a language arts teacher, I'm thinking of descriptive writing, narrative writing, uh, you could even go with persuasive writing, whatever type of writing. It would be creative writing, no doubt, and these students could brainstorm or share knowledge or do whatever you can possibly imagine. 
So just another powerful tool for the students. And then you'll see that you submit just like a minute ago. And then I'm going to back out. And I'm going to go to my dashboard as a teacher. And then there is the image. So again, please imagine what the possibilities are, although what I wrote down here was basically gibberish. So I go out to my dashboard, and that is video tutorial number two for Infuse Learning and looking at interactive tools. I hope this is very helpful. Thank you.